Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Today I thought I would talk about three stocks that have upcoming ex dividend dates this next week. All three stocks that could be utilized in a dividend capture swing trade type of strategy. For new viewers on the channel, essentially you're trying to jump into a stock before the ex dividend date. That is the date in which you can qualify for a dividend payment for a stock. You hold at least until that ex dividend date, you can sell on or after the ex dividend date. You still qualify for the dividend and then you try to jump out of that stock as quickly and efficiently as possible for either a positive swing trade or a very small loss on that trade. You then free up that capital to jump into another stock to essentially do that same thing, qualify for the dividend and then jump out of that stock in a very short term or a shorter amount of a time than a long term buy and hold stock. So that's the strategy. And like I said, all three stocks I'll present today can be utilized in that strategy. Today I selected three high yielding stocks. These are all business development companies and real estate investment trusts, which typically have dividend yields anywhere from seven to 15%. At least the quality companies have dividend yields in those particular parameters. A little bit higher than that, very high risk companies and lower than that, you're really not getting a lot of yield for the risk you're putting into this type of short term trading strategy. So having said all that, let's jump into the three stocks here. The first one, as you can see on screen here, is Prospect Capital, PSEC. This is a stock I've had in the portfolio for quite some time. Take a look at the history on the bottom here. You can see that this has been a monthly dividend stock. You can see dividend payments October 17th, September 20th. If we go back even further, you can see regular dividend payments here. I think since 2016 is when I first picked up this stock. It's been a very good performer so far for the portfolio. If we also take a look at the total return, it's a positive return as well for capital appreciation, as well as a very nice dividend yield here, 11.426% currently. Uh, this is a very good company with regards to business development companies. You can see the earnings in the middle here. Last quarter just reported here, November 7th, you can see the actual earnings per share, much greater than the expected earnings per share, uh, Q4 2018 there, as you can see. Uh, but these are a little bit higher risk companies. I said this is a very good business development company, but this class of stocks is very, very uh, risky. Uh, as you can imagine with that very high dividend yield, they're very susceptible to changes in interest rates. These are typically leveraged companies as well. So the performance, if you can see over the last one week of trading here, down quite a bit here, 3.95% over the past one month of trading down 7.22%. And again, the Fed has been increasing interest rates, so you can see how susceptible these companies are to those types of changes. Uh, one year, however, you can see it's up 19.85%, very good performance. And over the past five years of trading, you can see kind of an up and down pattern here, but still up 11.12%. And again, that's combined with a monthly dividend payment of 11.42% uh, annually. So very good high dividend yielding payment that pays out on a monthly basis. So the important dates for Prospect Capital here, the ex dividend date will be on the 30th. So again, you have to jump into the stock before that time and then sell on the 30th or thereafter to qualify for the dividend. You'll get paid on the 21st of November, six cents per share for current dividend yield, just over 11%. So very good business development company with a high dividend yield that is a minimal to dividend capture swing trading or just jumping into the stock like I have to hold for the longer term. Again, you can see here I have 306 shares, equity value just over $2,000. So Prospect Capital, PSEC is the first stock, business development company. The second stock is ORC, Orchard Island Capital. This is a stock that I currently do not have in the portfolio. This has been on my short list for quite some time. This is a real estate investment trust. Uh, if we take a look at the bottom here, you can see exactly the uh, kind of industries that this company is uh, uh, investing in. It's a finance company, like I said, real estate investment trust that is invested in residential mortgage backed securities. So it's essentially residential real estate. Take a look at some of its numbers in the middle here. As far as profitability, Q3 earnings, uh, October 25th here, which will be just in a few days, it should be reporting. You can see that it did have some negative earnings there, Q1 2018. Definitely has a higher dividend yield, as you can see in the middle there, 18.103%. If we take a look at some of its numbers with regards to performance, the PE ratio for this company is very high, 148.80. And again, looking at earnings, that is to be expected. You can see Q2 2018, 
their earnings were just barely in the positive there, as you can see up on screen. So that's what accounts for that very high price to earnings ratio. Again, that's telling you how much of investors willing to pay for each dollar of earnings. And again, that price to earnings ratio is reflecting earnings here versus the stock price. And you can see here Q2 2018, the stock had just a few cents of profit per share. So that's what it's accounting for, that very high P.E. ratio. You can see here currently it says N.A. just because that's based off negative earnings. You can't divide anything by negative earnings. So you essentially you have an infinity high P.E. ratio. You cannot calculate that. But nonetheless, this is a stock that I think is still amenable to dividend capture swing trading type of strategies. If you take a look at the performance over the past one month of trading, just like Prospect Capital, it is down 8.86%. This is also a very highly uh, leveraged company, 14.32% down over the last three months of trading. One year, 23.4%. In five years, you can see it's up 21.79%. This is not for buy and hold investing. This is to get in, qualify, for that dividend and then try to jump out of the stock as quickly and efficiently as possible. Either was a very small positive swing trade or a, a net loss on the trade, but the net, net loss being smaller than the dividend payment that you'll receive by capturing the dividend. And again, you have to take into uh, tax consequences as well. So this may be a little bit too high of a risk stock, but one to consider at least for dividend capture swing trading over the next week here. The important dates for ORC, the ex dividend date, just like Prospect Capital, will be on the 30th of this month. Payment date next month, November 9th, $0.08 cents per share for dividend yield, just over 14%. So very high dividend yield, but a little bit higher risk company than Prospect Capital. And the last stock I have in the portfolio is APLE, Apple Hospitality. This is a real estate investment trust. Take a look at the bottom here. This is essentially a real estate investment trust for the Marriott and Hilton brand of hotels. Uh, you can see here, uh, real estate investment trust company, income producing real estate, primarily in the lodging sector. And like I said, it typically has its properties under the Marriott and Hilton brand names. So this is a company I've had in the portfolio for quite some time as well. Pays out monthly, as you can see here, September 17th, 2750 and October 14th, 2750. Also have been doing some covered calls with this particular stock as well. Take a look up on top here. Earnings, much better than the other two companies we've talked about, Prospect Capital and ORC. I expect the actual earnings per share uh, to be a little bit higher than the uh, expected as well this next quarter. Typically for real estate investment trusts, for whatever reason, analysts typically have those uh, under the actual earnings per share. PE ratio, as you can see, 21.85, which is okay for this particular market segment. Dividend yield, 6.11% currently. If you take a look at the graphs up on the top, there's a lot of variability in the price of this stock down over the past one week here, 2.53%. One year, seven, excuse me, 6.63%. Three months, 8.68%. One year, you will kind of see a little bit more of the up and down pattern in the stock here, down 9.59%. And over the last five years of trading, you can definitely see the up and down pattern here starting back in uh, May 2015, going up and down quite considerably here. And currently we're on a little bit of a downtrend here. So this may be a good time to jump into the stock. But again, these stocks are a little bit more susceptible to federal interest rate hikes as well. So take that into consideration when jumping into the stock. The important numbers for APLE, Apple Hospitality, the exhibition date will be the 1st of November, payment date 15th of November, 10 cents per share, for a dividend yield just over 7.4%. So I would say ORC is probably the highest risk out of all three of these stocks. I currently have Prospect Capital PSCC as well as the stock you see up on screen here, Apple Hospitality REIT APLE in the portfolio. I do like these stocks moving forward. Uh, I have dedicated a certain percentage of the portfolio to these stocks, but definitely wouldn't load up on these and have these the predominant part of your portfolios. These are definitely high risk stocks but stocks that I think are very minimal to dividend capture swing trading type of strategy. So let me know what you guys think about these three stocks. I may be putting some more money into APLE here. Might put some more money into Prospect Capital. But again, not a lot of money. Don't, definitely don't want to have these as part of the dominant uh, force in the portfolio. But three stocks anyway that I think are very minimal to dividend capture swing trading types of strategies. So if you guys have any other stocks, please let me know in the comment threads down below. And again, if you guys enjoy the video series, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. 
Until the next video, we'll see you then.